Hey everybody, I'm Natasha Lamb and I'm so excited to be here with you today. It's time for our KidMax Live, but before we begin, parents, for myself and kids all around the world, thank you so much for being there for us, for becoming our teacher, our coach, and our friend during this time where we're all experiencing some sort of COVID-19 restriction. Now, I know when you hear us repeatedly say that we're tired or hungry or bored, it may not feel like we appreciate what you do, but just know that we love you so much and we will not forget everything that you've done for us. In KidMax Live, we wanna give our younger friends a taste of what they can see and do at home while we can't gather together in groups. So please visit our parent blog to download the links where you'll find the lesson plans, activity pages, and videos for several age groups. Also, please send us photos of what our younger friends will be doing this week, whether they would be photos of the activities or simply just what everyday life looks like at home. You can send them to kidmax at themeetinghouse.com where we'll be showing it here in KidMax Live. You can also find them on our Instagram page, so be sure to follow us there. Wow, that's it for me, so here we go with KidMax Live! Do 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 Hi everyone, my name is MJ and I'm an Oakville Youth Leader and I am so happy that you decided to join us for KidMax Live today. Welcome! I don't know if you can tell by all these balloons around me, but I personally am feeling so excited for KidMax today. So whether you're joining us with your parents, you're watching with a brother or sister, or you're just tuning in at home by yourself, thanks so much for joining us. I'm so happy you're here. Well, it's been another week spent at home and maybe you got the chance to play outside in the sunshine or play inside with your family this past week. But one of our favorite things at KidMax Live is when you send us pictures throughout the week of the crafts and the different things that you're up to. And I have to say that you all did such an amazing job. So be sure to tune in at the end of KidMax Live today to see those pictures. How about we take a look now to see what we have planned for our preschool friends? Our big idea for this month is that we can encourage each other. And our story for today is called Paul on a Journey. Our friend Saritha is gonna read it for us today. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Saritha. Today we're gonna be reading a story, Paul on a Journey. Paul was going to the city of Jerusalem. Some of his friends said, we have been listening to God. He told us you will be in danger in Jerusalem. Please don't go. But Paul said, I have been listening to God too. I know I will be in danger, but I must work for Jesus. I have to go. So Paul got in a boat and sailed away to Jerusalem. On the way, he met some more friends. They said, we've been listening to God. He says people in Jerusalem will tie you up and put you in prison. I know, said Paul, but I must work for Jesus. I will be careful, but I have to go. All Paul's friends prayed for him, and Paul knew that even if bad things happened to him, God would be with him and would help him to be brave. What a wonderful story. See you later. Paul could go on the journey because he knew that God was with him. Isn't that pretty amazing? Let's check out the craft that we have for this week. We're gonna be making door hangers to remind us of our month's key verse to encourage each other. Here to show us how to make the craft is the Howe family from Ottawa. Hi, Kid Max friends. We are here in Ottawa. And we have a tree house. Oh. Raya, Emetea, and Yoshi. And what craft are we going to make today with our friends at Kid Max? A door hanger. Oh, and what does the door hanger remind us to do with each other? To encourage. Encourage. So we need the printouts. What else do we need, Raya? For our materials. Blue. Oh, blue. 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 And? And, um, um, Len. Okay. And, and scissors. And, and paper brushes with the glue. And the crayons. That's and you need one of these. The next okay. step was we cut That's them in two. So we each have one to color. And let's get started. started. Okay. Started. Let's encourage each other. That's terrific. Okay, so we put the glue on and we're gonna spread it around and put the colorful encouragement 
on top. We have um, some decorative wool that we put on. So this is just hang on the doorknob type of door. And then, and that's for kids who have their own room. And then we have siblings who share rooms. So we put a little hole at the top. And what are you, how are you gonna hang it, Raya, when we, okay, and? Now I have to put it through the hole. And then you tie it. I braided this one and my mom did this one. She cut the hole and this is for hanging. This is tape and this is mine. And where are you gonna hang it? Um, on your door, you can hang this on your door. You can hang this in your room. Do you want to show us how you put it on a door? Oh. There's a door right there. Like, we put it on our basement door. Like this. Very nice. It reminds we us like to encourage. There we go. Great job. Bye, Kid Max friends. Bye. I am so excited to see how your craft turns out. So be sure to send us pictures at kidmax at themediahouse.com so that we can see them. Now, let's show our grade one to five friends what we have planned for them today. Today's big idea is that the Holy Spirit corrects and encourages us. To learn more about that, we'll take a look at the God story which shows how the Holy Spirit was speaking to several churches to correct and encourage them. We know that the Holy Spirit speaks to us in different ways and often through other people. So for our life story today, we had a few friends share with us what it's like to be corrected by others and how that actually helped them. Let's take a peek. Yeah, so once I was doing division the way everyone does it, but then my dad showed me a faster and more efficient way of doing it. And then it made me feel like he's actually trying to help me with my homework. So then I showed it with my teacher and I was ahead with my homework because of that great division um, strategy. Wow, what a great example from Joshua there. For small group today, we're gonna to be making chatter boxes. Chatter boxes are filled with ways of how the Holy Spirit can correct and encourage us. I hope you can use it this week to encourage others or chat with your family about the big idea. Check this out, I made one and it's been really helpful to remind me of how the Holy Spirit can use me to encourage others. Well, that's it for today. Thanks so much friends for hanging out with us. I really hope you enjoyed another episode of Kid Max Live. Music is coming up soon where we can worship as a family, or right now is also a good time to work on those activity sheets or join your family for the teaching. I can't wait to see you for another episode of Kid Max Live. And as I promised earlier, here are some photos of the amazing crafts that you did. See you later. Cheers.